matter of having needing more money from the legislature to do it, or are there efficiencies within the system that you found too that could be made to save money to hi hire more? Won't yeah. you answer about that? There's definitely efficiencies that could be made. Um, just the pure turnover that's happening and the churn of caseworkers is costing money. If they could get caseworkers in, adequately train them, and they could stay. They're going to save money right there on the onboarding and training constantly of these caseworkers. They're going to see it in the end. Um, we also found, you know, a lot of the other states that have had to invest in staffing has been sued, and um, you know that's that's something that's scary here for Oregon as well. Um, but there's a lot of efficiencies if they had to look into it that they're contracting out or they're doing different work that they they don't have enough work to do in house. And if they were able to get enough staff, they could they could start doing that, find efficiencies on the end. We would ask everyone to read this report. It's written for the people, and it's written for the people's elected representatives because you'll read about situations. You'll read about what individuals are doing to try and make a difference. There's a woman in Roseburg area who can't foster anymore, but she's opened up a room in her house, and she goes out and solicits and collects food and clothing items and school items so that foster parents can come and have access to additional things that they need to help become better foster parents. There is um, respite care for foster workers that individuals can do. It, we would hope that citizens might consider. You know, we, could, we can't take in a child, but we can help over a weekend. And there's so much that can be done at every level. I'll be sending out a newsletter uh, by Friday of this week, laying out uh, the, the importance of understanding where we're at and what can be done, because this is a statewide problem. This isn't a problem for the governor to fix. It's not a problem for the legislature just to fix. It's our problem. These are our children. And it's important that we take responsibility to not allow this to continue. Jamie? Uh, you said 